Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, it's a very different video from one I usually do, but today I'm going to be doing a tutorial a tutorial on how to make a crystal in Roblox Studio. And this is a crystal that I made and you don't have to use Blender. It's told it's completely all in Roblox Studio. So, when you load into Studio, uh, I prefer base plate, new or old, I don't mind, I, don't, I really don't mind. You're going to click on part. Now, usually it's going to have the block part, so click on part, and it's going to spawn this 2x4 brick, 2x4x1. And then you're going to go on part, and you're going to click on the arrow, and you're going to spawn a wedge. Now, the wedge, you're, we're going to be using the scaling tool, and we're going to do it by a 2x2, two two, like this. And we're going to be rotating it, and we're going to be sticking it to the uh, to the block that we spawned. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to go on model and use this function, which is the union function. So you can think of it as a, a merge. So it merges two parts together. So what you're going to do is that you are going to be uh, using your left left mouse button and you're going to be sliding it so we should see this and you're sliding it that which is select or you can just go on the explorer here take your part take that and you know it's going to be selecting both of them and you're going to use the union function so when you click on union function it becomes one part so uh, you can see that this is called union and this is the part so now with the move function we're going to be moving this up because we're going to be duplicating it to make one of the crystal shards. So you can just do that. And then you want to right click and there should be all of these things. We're going to use the duplicate function or you can just do this control D, control D. But, you know, duplicate or control D, I don't mind, but duplicate. Um, is joint surface supposed to be on? I don't think so. And now what you're going to do with um, this part is that you're going to be putting it under it. So what you're going to do is that we're going to be rotating this. So it's supposed to do that. We're going to be rotating it with the green one like this. And then with the blue one. Uh, uh, nope, 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 no. Ooh, 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 my bad. Like that. Wait, what? No, 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 look, what? like that. So now it should look something like this. Now what you're going to do, you, we're going to be using the move function, and we're going to be sliding this into the other block so it looks something like this, all right? So when it looks something like this, we're going to use the model, the union function again. So just select these two, union, and there we have a one of the crystal shards now we're going to be scaling this you're going to be scaling this uh to the smallest point so until you can't scale anymore that's the size you want so let me just ah uh, this thing is bugging all right so this is this is supposed to be the size of the crystal shard so it's supposed to be a three two one one so three by one by one just like that and then what you're going to do is that we're going to be spawning another part, which is going to be a block. And we're and this block is going to be a one by one by one. Now, this is where uh, the interesting stuff comes. So rotate, you want to go zero degrees and move. You want to go to zero. So zero studs. So this is going to make. Oh, God. Nope, that's not you don't want to do that. So just don't scale because this will have no limit. And that's what you don't want. So with the move function, you're going to be able to move freely your object or your part. And with the skip, no, 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 rotate, you're going to be able to rotate it freely without any trouble. So what you're going to do is that we're going to be trying to do, you're going to do that. All right. And then that. All right. You want to put it a little bit like on the block. You're going to rotate it like that, and you're going to move it. Until you get something like this. So after you get something like this, you're going to be, um, I'm just going to move this a bit like that. All right. 
now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna be duplicating this block and then we're gonna be doing the same thing but instead we're gonna be rotating it just like that and then we're going to be rotating it a bit like that a bit more all right and then we're gonna be moving it into the crystal part so just like that all right perfect so now you should be getting something like this now it's fine if it's not exactly the same um you can and then after you're gonna be reduplicating this and then we're gonna do these sides now so this side right here and this side right here so we're gonna be doing that and then rotate and then moving it a bit like that mm, that looks good and then we're going to be moving it just like that so now uh let me just do that and then that so now you have your third shard and you can let me just rotate that a bit again and that again just like that and then now we need the last shard which is going to come here you are free to add more shards if you want i just prefer to do four so we're going to rotate that like that but like that and then i'll rotate that like that and then that and then we're going to be moving this piece like so All right, and now you should get something like this that looks like this. All right, now what we're gonna do with this, um, you can edit it if you want. Now we can get something like this. We're gonna use the union function again. So just do that. Let me just make this a bit like that. Just like that. All right. So now we're going to be using the union function again, so just select all of these or just come here and then choose all of your parts. So you're going to do this union and it can take some time depending. And now you have your crystal. Now, because this is a union part, so it may do this sometimes. All you want to do is just rotate it like that and then move it. But yeah, the move function is pretty weird. And then just do that like that. Alright, so now what you want to do is that you want to select this and then go to material. So you want to go to material. And you want to go on click and you want to go down until you see neon. Now you want to select the neon. Now the color I recommend, uh, the most neon colors are like a uh, lime green. Oh, 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 yeah, I forgot to say. So the reason why it's not showing when you select your colors is that you want to click on the thing on the on your crystal you want to go on view and you want to go on properties now yes it will say appearance brick color color material but you want to scroll down until you say until you see use part color now you want to select that until there's a check mark now the most neon colors i would say is lime green red uh, i think pink or magenta a pink cyan uh dark blue and yellow so guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys uh, learned something new with Roblox Studio. And in this video, I teach you guys how to make a crystal in Roblox Studio without Blender. Now, if you guys enjoy these videos, just leave. Uh, if, and if you guys want more, of course, I, like, I enjoy doing these. Just say it in the comments down below. And I'll be happy to make more tutorials for you guys. And that's going to be the end. Enjoy. Goodbye. Peace.